What's up everybody, eBlue Productions here Today with a Black Ops 3 gameplay video I have made a montage about uh, I made 4 from 4 games actually that I've played 1 free for all and 3 uh, team deathmatch uh, This is the free weekend on PC by the way there is a platform called uh, Steam where you can buy games digital for PC and we had the opportunity to try the multiplayer part of Black Ops 3 for three days but somehow Steam managed to spam me with all the news with all the new new games that were releasing but this time I they didn't spam me about the free weekend or <laughs> strangely so I just uh, uh, encountered the just I've, I've I've just see one day before the free weekend was ending the message that there's a free weekend for black ops 3 and so I thought I will try it and here's my opinion about the game the game feels really good actually the wall running the boost jumping doesn't feel overpowered or it is not something that is necessary only just taking shortcuts and um, yeah so if I compare to advanced warfare advanced warfare was really not my game if they did it uh, without the jump boost and dash then um, it would have been a good game but I like this better but would I buy it uh, I will probably not buy this game for this year I will pass Black Ops 3 because I already have enough Call of Duty games and uh, I was very disappointed with Advanced Warfare that just holds me back to buy this and I just don't want to trade no one trades Advanced Warfare with Black Ops 3 of course and I just don't have money left too much um, also one thing that I've noticed is people complained about the size of the maps in Black Ops 3 but I've played almost every map in I tried almost every map and I can say they are really not that small they are medium sized but if you count every part of the map and every corner every place then they are really big I mean um, yeah people tend to stay on the middle of the map and they just can't notice that how big the maps are and I'm kind of a player that likes to uh, check every corner and uh, taking alternative ways to reach the enemies and I, I really noticed that the maps are really big and so but I would recommend this game for people who never played any Call of Duty game it really feels like something fresh something that the new players would like uh, but I still miss the classic gameplay of Call of Duty without the futuristic things and without the special abilities I hope Infinity Ward goes back to the roots of the Call of Duty games like World War uh, 2 or um, like Modern Warfare I really want to like to see a sequel to Modern Warfare 3 since it uh, ended very nice uh, very nice yeah sorry for my English by the way <laughs> but um, grab this game if it goes on sale at least for 50% um, don't buy the season pass I just don't buy season pass uh, the last season pass I bought was for black ops 2 but I barely play on them 
so um, I would just be careful what what you're buying I mean you you pay for something that is didn't that isn't available yet do you get the last map packs you get before the next Call of Duty comes out uh, close to it I mean and um, yeah oh uh, I, I wanted to thank you all for watching this video and hope you liked it give me a comment uh, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future um, so have a nice uh, Christmas by the way and see you next time people goodbye